play every play like it's your last. It'll be homecoming, the, the crowds will be packed, it'll be loud, it'll be fun night. Good team coming into play, I know. It's gonna be crazy here. Coming off a loss and, and looking to get back on track. And we don't have time to hang our heads and pout. And they know how close they've been. I'm so unstoppable. We feel like we're back in this thing if we win this week. It is week five, uh, week five of the high school football season, and in some conferences, they are already getting down to the crown. Huge conference title implications in the Northeast State tonight, and Andy McDonald spent his evening up in Kendallville and joins us now with your Highlight Zone Game of the Week. Andy. Hey, thanks, Glenn. 76 seconds. That's the total amount of time that Leo had trailed this season, yet they were 2-2 two and two entering tonight. The Lions lost to any eight rival New Haven in OT last week, but they got to face off another top team in that conference this time around as they took on the Knights of East Noble on the road. Leo at East Noble is your highlight zone game of the week. Tonight the two rivals squaring off in Kendallville on homecoming and early on a special team special play. Jack Herber blocks the punt for the Knights and he'll get it inside the five. That leads to this. Griffin, Daffhorn, Cobbler, touchdown and they're breaking news. The Lions, they actually trail 7-0, but not for long. Alex Wortman, the run up the middle to score. It's a tie ball game at 7. The Lions defense, King on Knights QB. Andrew McCormick, the Indiana State commit, tries to stretch for the extra yard, but <coughs> coughs it up, and they're going the other way for six. Cameron Livingston with the score, and Leo head coach Jared Sauter wanted this team to finish all week. This is how you do it. Wortman rumbling, bumbling over the defenders into East Noble Terry. He had 32 carries, 138 yards. Restivo, AJ Restivo capitalizes it 21 7 at the break. And if East Noble wants to beat Northeast 8 royalty, like Chevy right there, they need to play well after intermission. Daffhorn, Cobbler again with a score. It's 21 14, but the Lions aren't going to let this one slip. Restivo with the scamper up the middle, and then Wortman, the workhorse, one more time. He had two scores on the night. The Lions, they win this one 35 21. We're here with Alex Werman, and how big was that win tonight? That win tonight was very big for us. It motivated us after last week. We came back after a bad loss. They came back, but we fought through it, and just we had to finish. We had to finish every time. The mentality as I run the ball, I just got to fight through people. I'm the smallest guy on the field. Just got to push through it every game, every day. We just want to come out and prove ourselves. We've been winning. We uh, tallied it. We've been winning for 99.2% of our game, so we just had to come out and finish tonight, and that's what we want to do, and we completed that goal. We talked about all week. Got to finish, got to finish, you know. Halftime, 21-7, told them it's, it's, it's a new game, new game. Come out there and finish, and we, we just said every play has to be the last play. And uh, I'm so proud of our kids and the way they responded and the way they played in that second half. Congratulations and happy birthday, Gaz. It's his birthday, Leo. They host Belmont next Friday, while East Noble is at Norwell. Glenn, back to you. We got